Arsenal 1, Manchester City 3, and that is just gutting, man. We have now slipped to second in the table to the champions, Man City, who overtake us. And although the title is still in our hands, with a game in hand over them, it just feels like a massive psychological hit right here. Losing our first game of the season at the Emirates, um, at home to Manchester City. As always, let me know your thoughts on the match in the comment section down below. Are you still confident in Arsenal's title chances, or do you really believe today define the fact that we are not going to win the title? And as always, if you're new around here and you love Arsenal football-related content, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 2,000 subscribers. What can I say, man? I mean, before the game, I was a little bit excited. I said it was the biggest game at the Emirates in the Premier League, definitely in my lifetime, and probably in the last 15 years for this football club. I was thinking it is do or die. We win here, we make it a six-point gap with a game in hand, and it really could be our title to lose. And then building up to the game, we heard the horrible news that Thomas Partey was out. And I was thinking, oh my days, not today of all days. This man, every time when the running gets tough, when, this, when literally we have to start winning games, when it gets to crunch time in the season, he takes annual leave. He just departs the scene. Jorginho comes in. And to be fair, Jorginho performed well today. I don't think the result would have been different if we had Partey instead of Jorginho. I honestly don't. I think Jorginho had a monster game in there, man. His leadership was important. Right place, right time. He was really good in there today. That being said, we did still lose the football match. And it's just down to mistakes, man. You can't lose 3-1 at home and think you can win a Premier League title. It's not possible. One point from our, out of a possible last nine is not good enough. And that is what has cost us, man. We put ourselves in such a good position and we throw it away in three games. What happened last season? The reason we didn't make top four. It's not because we lost games. Every club loses games. It's losing games back to back. We lose to Man United, so then we lose to Everton. We lose to Crystal Palace, so then we lose to Brighton and Southampton. We lose to Tottenham, then we lose to Newcastle. That is what costs us. Back-to-back -back losses. You can take and loss as long as you follow up by two wins. What's happened? We lose to Everton, we drop points to Brentford, then we lose to Man City. Aftershocks, man. Hangovers. That is what is costing us, and it's cost us again. Today, mistakes FC, man. Arteta's decision. He doesn't, he doesn't bring in Trossard for Martinelli, but he brings in Tommy Asu for Ben White. Okay, first goal, Tommy Asu mistake, man. Doesn't even bother looking. Like, bro, it's, it's Man City, man. You hit it hard to Ramsdale or you clear it. No one's going to say anything if you kick it out for a throw-in, bro, because they can't score from a throw-in. Doesn't blind pass. And if there's one person you do not want that ball to go to, it's Kevin De Bruyne, because he has the quality to loop it over Ramsdale and into the back of the net to make it 1-0 City. But at that point, I was thinking, you know what it is? It is what it is, man. We came from 1-0 down against Manchester United. We're still in this match. And then we do come back and we have flurries of attacks and we finally score on the stroke of half-time for a penalty. And for me, this is a stonewall penalty. Anyone that says this isn't a penalty is having a laugh, man. If anything, it should have been the second yellow card for me. Dangerous play from Edison. He completely takes out Eddie and Ketia. It is a stonewall penalty. And for me, a second yellow, he's lucky to stay on the pitch. And then Bukayo Saka converts the penalty. What a goal from him. And then going into half-time, 1-1, I'm thinking we've got the momentum. But something happened in that half-time dressing room for Man City and they kicked up a gear. The first, the first period of the second half was scrappy. Well, no one was really taking initiative and then they scored. And it's another mistake. This time, Gabriel, bro, put your foot through the ball. Why are you soft passing it? They intercept it. And then from there, you do not want Man City breaking against you. Pass, pass, pass. And Jack Grealish scores. Terrible finish from him. But Tommy Asu again basically deflects in his own net. Like, if you're going to block the ball, block it. Because the worst thing you can do is take a little nick. Because then Ramsdale uh, is offside. He can't save the ball. Goes to the back of the net. And at 2-1, I'm thinking, oh, man, not like this. We didn't really have any chances to come back in it. And then Man City made it 3-1 with devastating goal by Erling Haaland to put the cherry on the cake for them. And then they'll go back into pole position. It's just annoying, man. Because honestly, this Man City team was here for the taking. This Man City team is not, like, unbeatable. Like, they're not a great team, man. Like, okay, no, let me say that. They're a great team. But they're not the same team we've seen the past five seasons. We can beat them, man. They lost to Tottenham, like, two weeks ago or a week ago. We've been rolling teams over for fun, but today we just hit a roadblock. And for me, it just shows mentally we are not ready to compete for this Premier League title. And it's a shame because everything was there for us, man. You People can say, oh, that wasn't our aim. Our aim was top four. We're going to get better. Yeah, we're going to get better. But I promise you, we spend 200, 300 million in summer. We will not get 50 points at the halfway point of the season. We won't. And this season, we know what's happening with Liverpool, with Chelsea, with City even. They haven't been amazing. United, of course, have been decent, but not anywhere near our level right now. Tottenham as well. Every team has stunk it up, man. They've literally handed Arsenal the Premier League. It literally wrapped up saying, here, go for it. You, you can go on and get it. 
and we just faltered, man. Like, our season ends in three games, bro. No team that wants to win the Premier League title doesn't pick up a win in three games. It's impossible. It is, you, you can't. Mentally, you can't hack it. So even though the title is still in our hands, with a game in hand against Everton at home, where is our next win coming from? Because I can't see it. Aston Villa on the weekend, that's a tough game away from home. Leicester City the week after, that's a tough game. We've got, obviously, Everton in midweek. We know they're going to set up the same way as uh, we played against them last week. Bro, like, we, we're not getting a win from anywhere, man, at this rate. We're playing good. Don't get me wrong, we're not playing bad by any means. But playing well isn't good enough, man. Mistakes cost you. Not being ruthless, ruthless enough costs you. And at the end of the day, it's costing us this league title now, man. Because we still have to go to the Etihad. We still have to go there. And we're going to probably hold it there, man. I can't lie. Because if you hold it 3-1 at home... You, there's what chance have you got away from home? Let's be completely honest. For Man City, I mean, I guess, look, it's, maybe it's going to kick them into gear. They turned it on as we all assumed they would. They haven't been amazing this season. But when the going gets tough, when it's a big title game like this, they turn it up and they make it happen. And we just did not respond whatsoever, man. I mean, what can I say? I mean, Arteta Wise, he's got to look at himself because he didn't start Trossard over Martinelli when I think Martinelli had a poor game. Yet he chose to start Tommy Asi over Ben White when Tommy Asi definitely had a poor game, to be honest. And it's cost us. Look, at the end of the day, the fine margins are what it is in football. And we did not get that right. And it is what it is, man. Like, do I still think we can win the league, win the league title? Yes, of course we still can. Do I think we will? Absolutely not at this rate, man. You can't... It's, 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 it's cr incredible because two weeks ago, just before the Everton game, I was, on the, I was literally thinking, oh my days, like, we're well on course to win this league title. And it just goes to show you can't deserve to win this Premier League title if in two weeks' time, your mindset has completely shifted. Like, not even two weeks, it's been 10 days. Ten, if in 10 days, you've gone from pole, pole position to win this league title to not even favourites anymore, you don't deserve to win this league. And that's the fact of the matter, man. We're not out of it, and we still can win the league. We're still here to play for. But United are going to come come are gonna come strong now. And honestly, I think United got a better chance than us at this stage. A lot, I know it's outrageous to say, given the points difference, but United look like they keep ticking, man. Like these are, they get a bad result and they respond instantly. They don't really lose back to back like that. They've already played Man City twice. They've already played us twice. We still need to go to the Etihad. Like it's gonna get tough for us, man. It really is. So we just have to wait and find out with this team, man. But it is just it's it's gut wrenching, man. The manner in which we lost the game, and I just wanted to turn the TV off. Even Eddie and Ketia, bro, like missing headers like that. It's just fine margins just costing us this game, and it could cost us a league title. But that's just the way it goes. Let's end with the player ratings, as I always do. Ramsdale in goal. I mean, could he done more of the goals? I think the first goal, ah, don't, I'm not really going to blame him for that one, man. I mean, look, is it, De Bruyne has just made, done a beautiful finish over his over his glove. I guess if he's not on his line, I guess if he has to come out to try and get the ball of Tommy, uh, from Tommy Asu's pass. He could be on his line. Is what I'm not going to blame him for that. Second goal, Grealish's goal. He would save it. And I still think he should save it, despite Tommy Asu's touch. But it is what it is. And in the third goal, he's got absolutely no chance. Other than that, I thought Ramza had an all right game. They didn't really test us much other than that, to be honest. To be completely honest. But yeah, I'm going to give Ramsdale a 7 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Yeah, 6 out of 10 because you conceded three goals. Tommy Asu, I'm sorry, it has to be a 3 out of 10 for you, my friend. Cost us in the first goal. Deflection for the second goal. Other than that, didn't have a massive impact. Had a chance in the first half, which he shot over. Not a great game. And Arteta, he's got to hold it, man. Poor decision. Poor decision to put him instead of Ben White. Could cost us, it could have cost us a game. Honestly, it did cost us a game, to be completely honest. That's one of the things. Saliba, he was there fighting with Haaland. It was pretty 50 50. I think he won some, Haaland won some. <coughs> it is what it is, man. Like, it is what it is with Saliba. He's still a young boy, and I think he held his own. Like, it's, a, it's a good learning curve and stuff for him, bro. But I'm going to give Saliba a, a 5 out of 10. You can't get more than that for conceding three goals. Gabriel, 4 out of 10 for me. I mean, look, he almost gave away a penalty. Shocking on the second goal, passing so softly. Other than that, he was here and there. The goal came from his side. Basically, all of them came from his side, to be completely honest. Even the one where De Bruyne passed it to Haaland for the third goal. Down his side. Poor man. Zinchenko. Not a great game. 4 out of 10 as well for me, man. Loose passes, bro. Loose passes giving the ball away too easily. Even on the third goal. Doesn't do enough for me. It goes down his side. Poor performance from Zinchenko, man. Like, we were fine in the first half. Just second half, we just could not compete whatsoever. Jorginho, for me, Jorginho's won the man the matches for Arsenal, at least. Not man the match of the game, because we lost 3-1, but for Arsenal. <coughs> <coughs> I've we had a decent game, to be completely honest. He was there dictating, he was telling people where to go, giving out instructions, being a leader, 
Always available for the football. Especially in that first half, he stood up and was counted, man. So in, uh, for Jorginho, I'm definitely going to have to give him a good match rating. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Xhaka, for times, was hiding, man. His final third pass, oh my days, fix up, bro. So many times we're progressing the ball in transition. And his final pass is just horrible. Our final shot, just that final decision is costing us every time in this match, man. Costs us dearly. 5 out of 10 for Xhaka. Odegaard. I said it, man. If, the, we, if we get this man on the football, good things happen. And we just did, it didn't happen enough. It didn't happen enough. First half was good. We were free-flowing. We were making things happen. Second half, the game was two top stop-start. Uh, stop start. It became like a bit of a scrappy match. And it actually favoured City. And it went on to win. And he just didn't get enough of the ball in the second half. Odegaard, for me, I had to give him a 5 out of 10. Saka scored a penalty. Big, big goal with that one. Obviously, it means nothing now. But at the time, big goal, bro. Proved it. He was, he was here and there, man. To be fair, didn't have a massive impact. Didn't have as much joy as I thought. Bernardo Silva was hacking him down. Left, right, centre. He should have got a yellow card way earlier than he did. Is what it is. Saka, 6 out of 10. Left with Martinelli, I thought he had a poor game. He was barely involved at, like, at all. I don't really remember him in the game whatsoever. I'm going to have to give Martinelli a 3 out of 10. And then Ketia as well. No, actually, Martinelli, that's too harsh. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. And then Ketia for me, 4 out of 10. I, I four, yeah, 4 out of 10, I'm sorry. He won the penalty. Big on him for that, but he missed two big chances with his head, man. Heading training, he needs it. Because, look, at the end of the day, they score their chances, we don't score ours, and that's exactly what happens, and we lose the game because of it. But that's overall my player ratings. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. I'd, I'd love to hear it, especially as well as your thoughts of the match. I'm guided, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and just pff, drown out my sorrows with AFTV or what, but it's just an awful loss to see, man. Like... Really thought we could get something from this match. It just it's, it's there. It's, it annoys me more because I know we could have. Like, we could have got something from this game, man. I've seen Man City a lot this season. And I honestly thought we had a good chance. But it just goes to show that we're not quite ready for this league title, it seems. That being said, it's still been a decent season. Let's not forget that. And there's still lots to play for. But it's just one of those things, man. We've got to get behind the boys. And we have to turn it around with a win at Aston Villa. Because the title is still in our hands. Obviously, it doesn't feel like it right now. And it's the first time we've dropped down to second. And I did say before, if we, the only way we lose this title is if we drop down to second. Because I think if we do lose that first place to City, it'll be a long day trying to catch that up from them, man. Because they are ruthless, that side. And I'll just ask Liverpool. They've been trying to catch City for a long time and it never ended up happening. We needed to remain first and we needed a cushion. Hasn't ended up happening. It is what it is, man. But as always, let me know your thoughts about your comment section down below. If you're new around and you love Arsenal-related content, this is a place to make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 2,000 subscribers. I've been my football. Hope to see you all in my next video.